Hi, welcome back to Novel's Nook. If you're new here, my name's Victoria. My name's Chris. And we're going to be doing a Witcher review. We wanted to make a review of the TV show before we finish the book. Yeah. This is going to be not a spoiler-free review. So if you have not set, seen the, the uh, series... This is for people who are seen it, ready to listen, ready to talk about it, ready to leave comments so we can all talk about The Witcher. You're very aggressive. <laughs> The first episode was The End's Beginning, and it was the one where uh, Geralt was in Blaviken, and he talked to Renfri, and also, oh. yeah, and also Sintra got sacked. We meet the main characters, some of them, Geralt, mm, beautiful. Henry Cavill. Henry Cavill is like God. He's beautiful. I mean, he was Superman, which is... As close to him as That is true. I yeah. think he's very good at being mm -hmm. badass. For complete disclosure, I have played all of the games. Yeah. So, Geralt, his entire purpose is he's supposed to be, like, morally ambiguous. The whole world's supposed to be morally ambiguous, and you're supposed to be like, well, that was a choice we made. I hope it's good. Yeah. And you kind of just hope. And that's it's this series is really good at that. They really covered that in the first episode. I think it's really interesting to hear throughout the episodes when it's like destiny. Destiny. Yeah, like, if you that didn't know old. if you didn't know there's a lot of destiny in the show. Like every other character is like, it's your destiny. And I'm like, yo, bro, we get it. It's his destiny. But if you say that word one more time, like you have to play a drinking game with that because I swear, like, take a shot every time someone says destiny, you'd be mm -hmm. wasted. Yeah. Like, it, they say it so many times, it's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Sword fighting scenes, amazing. <sighs> I, like, epic. I, I love medieval times and swords and castles and stuff like that, and the sword fighting in this, in this episode especially was phenomenal. Yeah. You was immediately so get to see how good the fighting action scenes are right from the start like that's one thing that I loved about it is you get to see how good quality everything is and mm. it continues through the entire series being like really detailed really good and just like oh my god it's just amazing you could tell they took their time with each of the scenes they wanted to yeah. make sure each of the scenes looked right they did a really good job yeah and Henry Cavill actually did like a, a shot by shot thing mm -hmm. where like he talked about how like each like thing had to be like calculated and like they mm -hmm. had to time everything so perfectly yeah and i think it really shows in the show yeah he's a great Geralt. he does the voice great he mm -hmm. does the mannerisms great he picks on dandelion great the second episode is yeah. four marks that's the one where jennifer's introduced so from what i understand about the books is that none of this happened in the books and it was all hearsay and like flashbacks from other characters about like this entire episode so it's not really yeah. For sure what happened to her in the books, at least. But it, it's interesting. Yeah, um, Yennefer's story is definitely really interesting. I think that's the mm -hmm. one reason why I wanted to watch the show and watch, like, continue watching is mm -hmm. because her story is so interesting and you get to see that character development, too. Her being, you know, so... Eh. And then her to become this powerful freaking mm -hmm. enchantress. Or Oh, uh, she's also, like, gorgeous. I love yeah, her. I think she's attractive. stunning. I mean, I didn't play the games, but I think her character, I mean, black hair. We've, we've read the book, some of it, and it, it kind of, you know, the black, luscious hair and the yeah. violet eyes. I mean, I think she looks really good. Everything about her is supposed to be dark. That's what she has. Instead of black eyes, which would be a little unsettling, she has, like, purple eyes. Yeah. And then her hair is black, dress is black. She's reserved. She doesn't share feelings. Yeah, she's like has a she, mysterious vibe to yeah, her too mysterious. when you first see her. But like her transformation is incredible. Maybe it's because I haven't read all of the books, but her desire to want to be a mother seems out of character to me. Okay, she like went through her whole childhood thing and then she gets the chance to be a sorceress and she wants to be powerful, she lost her power. That all makes sense. And then she wants to be a mother? She's literally trying to, at least as we'll see later, she tries to kill a dragon to get its heart to get a womb so that she could have children. So okay, there's a total of eight episodes, was mm -hmm. there? Eight yeah, episodes. and it goes by so quick. Like, once you're stuck into this world, like, you watch the episodes go by, and we have to wait so long for the next season. Like, the next season's 2022? Yeah. 2021? 2022. Probably. Ah, it's so far away. No, maybe, but Henry did say was he was he was um in production, so Yeah. Third episode is Betrayer Moon. 
Uh, this is where the the other Witcher failed to get the, to the uh, kill the Striga, which she didn't think was a Striga, but and then um, Geralt then saves her and turns her back. Yeah, I think that's like the first mention of there being more Witchers, yeah. which is going to be introduced more into the next season as well. They talked For about sure. bringing in more Witchers, which is really interesting. <gasps> the Witchers are the best part of the about the Witcher. Yeah, because we don't really see them. You see them in the first book. We've we just finished the first, the first chapter, chapter, and we've already been introduced to a lot of elves, I believe. Geralt uh, does the thing with the Striga so that he turns her back, and Geralt has to save her because he doesn't want her to kill her, and he does, and it was a really cool fight. I think that's the cool part. Is yeah. That he's n they say he's a monster, but like yeah, I feel like he's he willing to go the extra mile to save her if he can. Because he's just a good person. Yeah. I think. Oh yeah. What's the fourth okay. one about? So the fourth one is the banquets, bastards, and burials. This is where they had the wedding, and oh, yeah. the stuff of the Alien. Funny. Uh, <laughs> weird porcupine person. Weird. Odd choice. Oh, was that four? Yeah. Mm. So that was kind of weird. I liked um, having Geralt be in such a formal setting. It's always yeah. fun to make him do that stuff, like in the games. That was funny. Um, and I think it's tremendous backstory about what yeah. happens because yeah, it's important for the rest of the story. Yeah, when you see the so. wedding scene, it just kind of all brings it together and like yeah. why these characters are important yeah. and why it's destiny for these people to be together. All right, and then the fifth one was the one with the Jin and Yennefer. Yeah, the one with Jin and Yen that was so that good. That was so funny. That uh, was a really good episode. Mm -hmm. It's one of my favorites. Yeah, <laughs> that's one of my favorites too. I like Dandelion's always funny. I love him. Uh, or Yaskier. I've been calling him Dandelion this whole time. Yeah, it's okay. He's Dandelion in both the English version of the books and the games. So. Yeah. Any scene with Geralt and Yennefer I just think is incredible. Like, I love it so much. Like, those mm -hmm. are the scenes I look forward to because mm -hmm. they're just... You get two strong characters, like, in a scene together. It's... Uh, Rare Species is number six. This is, this is where they is fight the dragon. dragon. Yeah. The dragon episode is really good. I don't know. I think every episode is good. And then in every episode, it ties in mm -hmm. with things in the, of the past. So it's kind of like past, present, future, mm -hmm. kind of. And you just don't really know what is happening and what tense we're in. But I think that's also really amazing how it just kind of doesn't say it's flashing back or it doesn't say it's, you know, flashing forward. You just kind of have to piece, like, those together yourself. Mm -hmm. And uh, this was a fan favorite uh, story from the books, I remember. Yeah. Lots of people were saying that. I liked it. It was just wholesome. Mm -hmm. Like, let's go on a journey to find this dragon and let's get a bunch of characters to get up together and mm -hmm. let's see. I recognized you know. a lot of names from the, the uh, in the TV series from the games as well. Yeah. The, like the dwarves guys. And we stuff. haven't talked about Siri much. How do you no. like her as a character? Uh, she's good. I like the actress that they went with at the end. Yeah. That's good. But, yeah, yeah, I like Siri, and it, I think that's definitely another thing that keeps you watching is because you see, so like you see Yennefer and you kind of see Geralt and you see Siri separately in their own different stories and their mm -hmm. own like paths they're taking, and like you want them to meet up. Like I think that's one of the like biggest things. Like I was like, okay, this Waiting episode they're gonna it. see each other, and then mm -hmm. they don't. And I'm like, this episode they're gonna meet each other, and then they don't. And I'm like, 2021. Yikes. Seven before the fall. So um, this is. Yeah, so this is more about like the Nilfgaardians, right? And how yeah. they kind of had taken over Sintra. Yeah, so Geralt comes back, tries to get Ciri, mm -hmm. uh, Calanthe uh, lies about, you know, Ciri, and yeah. tries to pass off some other person, which That's is right. some bullshit. She goes on some like major mental gymnastics to try to protect Ciri in the way she does. It's fucking yeah. weird. And I, yeah, it's like, let him get her, please. I know, yeah. especially knowing who he is and what he can do to protect her. I mean, it would be the best possible way. And then we see in the first episode how dangerous it was for her anyway. So <laughs> if he would have had her in the first place, she would have been protected way more than what she was. Yeah, but um, we know that she didn't, to be fair. When the battle hit. That's true. <laughs> and then eight is where Geralt yeah. gets bit. Siri wakes up going somewhere with that lady. Um... And yeah. Yennefer is fighting... The Battle of... Oh, Sodden Hill? Sodden Hill, yes, that's right. Yeah. So yeah, Sodden Hill battle was great. Loved mage battles. Those, those are, are fun. really good. I loved, I loved it. Because Fuck you get those to worm see, things. You get to see 
different powers which is interesting because you you see Yennefer's like throughout the whole thing mm. but seeing different magical people come together and like fight uh is so cool i love those like i said like the action sequences are so good whether that mm. be sword or magic mm -hmm. like it's incredible yeah they they really wanted to make that the focal point like yeah they wanted to focus on those make those good not boot around the bush not make them smaller than they yeah. are yeah. I think another good thing about it is like as you're getting towards the end of the season stuff really starts to wrap together mm -hmm. and you start to really form a timeline of what's happening like when? in the beginning you get to it's like confusing as some pieces of like what's already happened what's happening now and what's going to happen and I think towards the end it really pieces together like the events that have taken place mm -hmm. you really get a yeah. Idea of the scope of what's going on. That was the last episode. So do you yeah. want to give like a out of ten rating? Ten out of ten. Yeah, ten out of ten. I, <laughs> I love, love, this. The show. I love the show. And um, I was telling uh, Christopher, I was like, okay, I love the show. You have the books. Let's start reading it because I need to know what happens because we get such a long break. Yeah. Why'd they do that to us? Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about The Witcher. Um, Any other TV shows you want us to review? Yes, in your favorite episodes, uh, your favorite character, character. <laughs> everything. Um, let me know if you've read the books as well and how they relate to the show. Like, Do you um, think the show's doing a good job? Yeah, of replicating like the pieces of the book. I mean, we're obviously reading it now, but we're not, like I said, we're in chapter one. So, I mean, we're not far into the series yet, but... Uh, it was so a long chapter. Let us, let us know what you guys think, and we'll see you guys next week with another spontaneous video. Okay. Hi, welcome back to Novels Nook. <laughs> Ew. No. You don't know who John Green is? Why would I know who John Green is? <sighs> we see Sintra get... Mm. Obliterated. What are you doing? You're emergency calling someone. We should do the Witcher cosplay. Okay. That'd be so much fun. Sure. Oh, my sister dog. dog. Yeah, she did. She sent me out here to get some apple juice. <laughs> Jennifer goes back to Asgard. <laughs> Asgard. <laughs> Is um, that from Thor? Uh, yes. <laughs> Baby, they just put it out of focus. <laughs> I thought you